Last night, my wife tells me that the tire pressure light came on on her 2022 Subaru Outback. So today we're gonna see if we can do anything about that before the car's needed again for the day. Yep, lights on. Oh, damn. All right, passenger rear is the culprit. Let's get it off. With such a rapid loss of pressure and this being a new tire, new car, I'm willing to bet it's probably just a nail or a screw in the tire. Yep, there it is. So for this, we're gonna use a simple tire plug kit. You can pick these up from any auto store. Basically consists of two handles, one, uh, a cord, a serrated one, that you're gonna use to bugger up the rubber to get good adhesion of the plug. A second handle that looks like a giant needle that you're gonna use to poke the plug in the plugs themselves. And I like to add a little bit of rubber cement every time I do these as well. Now I've done a lot of these over the years and quite frankly, every plug that I've ever done has always outlasted the tire. I've driven cross country and even off-roaded on plug tires. And so I'm very confident in this particular fix. First, we're gonna get some dikes and pull out that nail. Next, we're gonna take the serrated handle and stab it into the hole from which the nail came. Sometimes this can be a pain in the ass getting that pick in the hole, especially if the hole's not that big to begin with, like we had here. So just use your weight, twist it a little bit, knock it in there. Don't use any lube because it might screw up the adhesive. The whole point is to use this serrated piece to go ahead and bugger up the rubber so that you get a good heat adhesion with the plug. Next, take your other T-handle and thread the plug halfway through it. This too can be a little challenging. You might need some pliers. It's uh, pretty stiff, but basically get it pulled through so you have it looking like this. I then like to use a little bit of rubber cement to not only serve as an added adhesive, but quite honestly, to help lube the plug as it goes into the tire. Because again, this is a pretty tight fit. No need to go crazy, just kind of wipe it on. What we're gonna do next is pull out this T-handle and insert the plug. All right, it's pretty deep in there. I've got a little bit sticking out and there's a little hole at the end of this T-handle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rip it out and the plug will remain in place. Now we'll get a razor blade, cut off the rest of this plug that's protruding and get ready to fill it back up. I've cross-threaded a lug nut once, once. And now I always do them by hand just to make sure they're not screwed up. Always torque your lug nuts. And that's it, that's how you plug a tire. Save yourself a shit ton of money and a trip to the tire shop. Hope you found this one helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did, hit that like button and consider subscribing. Till the next time, this is Tom the Dilettante saying have a wonderful week. Take care.